Hey guys, it's me, 80s from Full Four. Today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about our 14 nation in the FIFA World Cup. And we have our first nation from Asia, and that is Iran, guys. Iran have qualified to the World Cup with 19 points. 19 points. And it's just impressive to me how dominant they have been. Because when I initially did my predictions, I actually had South Korea topping this. And I had Iran coming in second. And the fact that they're able to do it better than South Korea is just already impressive enough because we know how good South Korea has been. And I'm looking at the games they have played. They have been amazing. Defensively, they've been amazing. They've been rock solid at the back. And it's interesting how organized they are because I look at the games they have played. There's only been two games in which they conceded goals, which was against Lebanon and against South Korea. And yet to give the mentality to this team is to get the wins when they're in position to win because... As you guys can see, a lot of the games have been pretty competitive. There's not been there's been a few games in which they had to it was pretty much comfortable win. You know, like I said, against Iraq and against Iran. I mean not Iran, sorry, against Syria, in which they comfortably won. But other than these two matches, every other match they have been committed. They've been scoring one goal, and um sometimes one match even particularly actually scored two. And it just goes to show you guys how competitive this thing is, you know, because it's not as straightforward as that. And I look at this game in particular against Lebanon. This was a game in which Iran probably would have dropped points. But you got to give credit to the Iranian players for stepping up when it really mattered and scoring those two stoppage time goals to see out a crucial win. Because this win in particular is a huge one. Because Lebanon has actually been one of the more impressive teams, this, uh, the com impressive teams here. Because, like I said, they've actually made things very difficult. As you guys can see, Lebanon are currently fourth right now. So they've actually... Not, it's not been as straightforward, you know. I, I honestly thought Lebanon would be the worst team on here, but it's actually not. You know, they've actually pulled up a win, two draws, which is pretty impressive. So I just think that for um, uh, Iran in particular, they they got they they can really look at this team and say this team could be a potential team that could be a quarterfinal appearance in the World Cup, because I think they have a core structure of players. They have so many good players. You got Turemi that comes to mind. You have Jahan Bakash. Then obviously you have Azmoon as well. And it's just a well-balanced team. A well-balanced team. Now, I'm looking at the games. I'm looking at the stats and everything like that. They've been a bit unclinical. That is something that I think they could definitely work on in doing. Is that uh, I'm seeing right here 12 shots through on target. Um, I'm seeing most of their games. They've had to grind out their wins. Which obviously isn't bad. But it isn't ideal. Um, especially when you get to a World Cup setting. So, you know. Because, like I said, the quality opponents will obviously be harder. And, wow, this is actually the game they actually had the most chance to target. Out of all these qualifier games, they've actually got the most chance to target against Iraq. And the funny part is that they even um, they only scored one goal. So, that is one kind of concern for me, that for Iran in particular, I just think that they have to be a bit better in the final third for them to really sell me and that this is the best nation in Asia. Because right now, guys, I think... You could honestly argue, just based on current form, they are the best nation in Asia, which makes sense because they have qualified for the World Cup first uh, over any other Asian nation. And so, like I said before, with Iran in particular, I am keen to see how they'll do, how they'll do in the World Cup because I think for me this is a potential team that if we are to have a representative from Asia in the quarterfinals, I think Iran might be our best shout. Iran could potentially be our best shout, and I just think that for me this team is really balanced. They have a strong defense. They have a great. Great, it's, they have a good attack. It's just they have to be a bit more clinical. That's really my big concern with them because I've been seeing a lot of the games and it's it's been very much hard work. They need to have more games where it's... They need to be a bit more clinical. That's really my issue with Iran. And I just think that for me, it's really interesting here. So, as I said, I want to give credit to the coach here. Uh, Dragon Skoisic. He came in in February 9, 2020. He came in... Just a he came in during a time where Iran uh, needed some change because I remember Iran weren't doing very good in the qual second round. Remember how Iran were struggling in the second round? I mean, let me just let me just look a second, show you guys the second round real quick. They barely topped the group by one point. Remember the fact they lost two games? I believe one of those games they lost to was against Iraq. Let me just see if I can show you guys right here. Uh, where is it? Iran versus Iraq. Where is that? Where is that? They lost one of their games. Where is it? I'm trying to find, guys. I'm trying to find. Aha, here we go. They lost to Iraq. That was not good. 
And then they also lost another game. I'm trying to see where they lost. Uh, it doesn't show here, guys. It doesn't show. Where is it? Why? Do I? Wait, why? Is there some games that I'm being shown on here? Let me just look at the second round real quick. Okay, I'm just trying to look at the second round real quick. I just want to see something real quick about Iran. Where do they draw points in? Actually, I got a better idea. We'll just look in the Wikipedia page. It's a lot easier that way. So, they were not doing very good in the second round. And they just needed to top the... In order for them to top the group, they needed to win their final match against Iraq. And so, like I said, I just think that for me, the fact they were able to win that final match against Iraq with turmoil there was very, very big indeed. So let me go and see the second round matches. Where is the group? Where they, which group they were in? They were in Group C. So let me go ahead and go to Group C here in particular. Let me just click second round, actually. So I'm trying to show you guys where they draw points in. Group C. Yeah. So as you guys can see, they draw points. Where do they draw points? They lost to Bahrain. See, these are the team they shouldn't be losing to. And I just think for me, the new managerial change definitely helped them a lot. Because I, I think that managerial change definitely helped them to avoid an early catastrophe. Because... Had, let's just say they came second, which they probably would have qualified just because of how many points they were in position, it wouldn't have looked great. It wouldn't have looked great, and it was imperative they got that win over Iraq on the final match day, uh, and with Osman scoring that goal. So I think for me, it's very, very important to note that this Iran team, I think they have definitely picked things up. I think they picked things up with their new coach, and I think he's definitely been the uh, person that has definitely helped uh, Iran be in this position. So, like I said, those are my quick thoughts on everything. So, you know, overall, guys, I think Iran is one of the best teams in Asia. And I honestly genuinely could see them in the quarterfinals. But it's going to be difficult because, like I said, for Iran in particular, let's see their FIFA ranking right now. Let me see where their FIFA ranking is. Their FIFA ranking right now is, where is it? 21. That is very close. I think that would be, that would probably be around pot three-ish, pot three, maybe pot two. Uh, um, so like I could see like a pot three or pot two kind of thing. And so that's going to be very, very interesting. So as I said, for Iran in particular, if they are really wanting to get to the quarterfinals, they probably need to top the group. And it's going to be very difficult because obviously we know they can't face Asia. I'm mean, not Asia, sorry. They can't face, Qatar, they can't have Qatar in the group. So the chances are they're going to have to probably have a Portugal. Well, Portugal, I think, are part two right now. So you have EU and then Italy, potentially. We know Italy's not really been that convincing recently. England and, you know, Spain and everything. So most likely, if they are get to get to the quarterfinals, you'll probably see them second, on which they'll play a group run winner. It could be very difficult, guys. It could be very difficult indeed. But I think quarterfinals is the max where I could see this team. I think quarterfinals would be a great, great finish for Iran in particular. So that's just my quick thoughts on everything, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. If you're new around here, I recommend you hit the subscribe button down below. I cover a lot of World Cup qualifiers here on the channel. Uh, comment below your thoughts. Like this video as well. Helps share the video with your friends. Helps the channel grow. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. So check out me my other podcast. Listen to the description below for my Twitter, my Discord server, my Twitch. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.